What's going on guys? How is it going? My name is Timo and today I'm bringing you guys my first ever tutorial on Photoshop. So today what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do as you can see by the title is I'm going to teach you guys how to make a pop out AVI. Now these are very simple to make and people might mess up a little bit but if you just stick with me, if you just listen, everything will go fine and you'll be great at this. You'll be able to do it in like two minutes sharp. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get out a random AVI here. Let's do the synergy. So now this is what I made before, this is pretty much what it's going to sort of look like, not exactly, this is my first speed art I ever made, so what I'm just going to simply do is just delete all of this stuff, just go into, you know, make it simple, sorry if I messed up a little bit, my uh, computer's being a little laggy right now, my apologies. So we're going to start this off from scratch, so I'm just going to remove all of these things. Alright. So now what you first want to do is you want to get the AVI, like I have right here. And you want to open up an image. So let's just go ahead and open up an image right here. Let's see. See what this is real quick. My apologies. All right, good. So this is gonna be our background. So we're just gonna uh, press Enter for now and hide it. And to hide it, you will hit this little eyeball, and it will just disappear. So now you just want to go ahead and get your little character that you want to be using. I will be using Gumball right here. Now what you want to first do is always press shift, always hold shift when you're doing this and go to the edges so that everything does not mess up and it's all nice and even. So now position it to where you want it to be and press enter. You always have to rasterize your layer, so rasterize and then right click and create clipping mask. Now since we have this right here, we're just going to put this down and the clipping mask will have to be redone. And as you can see, it is pretty much part of the images inside. So now what you want to do, simply you want to right click, duplicate layer. We're going to name it Gumball Pop L. You don't have to, I just do it to be organized. And we're going to put it on top of this layer right here since this is the outline. So now since you have this, you want to get your eraser tool. And you want to simply erase where you want to. And as you can see, even if I go over here while clicking, it doesn't do anything because this is part of the layer. So pretty much that is as simple as I can get it to be. Just the feet down, that looks pretty good. And I know it's not too much, but you know, it's going to work out for now. So now we're just going to put this on. We're going to rasterize this first before we do anything. Now, in order to resize it, you're going to press Control and T. Remember, hold Shift and go towards the edges until you're good. And now you're going to press Enter so that it just stays there. And now what you want to do is you want to go here, duplicate. We're going to name it House Inside. 
You can name it whatever you want, but now I'm gonna just put it right down here and it will automatically clip into the synergy thing since it's at the bottom of our already rasterized area. So what you want to do with this thing right here is you want to go to opacity. And I usually do around 35, but if that's too light for you guys, we can go up to 45. It looks pretty good. We're gonna stick with 45, press enter. And if you want it to look darker, you can change the color of this. So let me just make this one black, go over it. And as you can see, it got darker. I like that, so I'm gonna keep it. And now what you wanna do is you wanna add some effects. And in order to do that, you wanna go over to your layer, right click, and go to blend in options at the top. You will get this little screen. So now click drop shadow. Now as you can see in the background, you have a little drop shadow. It's really hard to see, but they actually give you a preview right here. So say I put it all the way over there, see how it shows you how much you actually have. Now that's too much, so we're just gonna make this about a let's make this a three and let's make this a seven. Okay, now we're gonna do an outer glow. And since he is a lightish blue, we're gonna go over here. And if you go outside, you get a little color picker. Click that and press OK. Now, as you can see, we have this little area right here. And you can just go ahead and do it to the area that you want. And it gives it a nice little effect. Now, if you want, you can change the outline color just by going here. Go into blending options, and I believe you just go to color overlay, and it will change the color. Now, if you want, like I said, you can just right click. You can go over to him, and it will do that. But I'm actually gonna keep it. I'm actually gonna keep it white because white looked good. So just press OK. And now let's see inner shadow. No, we're not gonna do inner shadow. So now we can just remove that. It will just look cleaner, and then you can press OK. So now what we are going to do is we are going to press our type tool. We're going to simply find a font that we like. Let me just find a good font for this. I like this one right here. So now you want to click. And if it's too big of a font, you can go over here. Just go right over here. You don't even have to go down. You can go right here and scroll and it will decrease the size of the font so we're gonna make it about a 20 21 I guess and now I'm just gonna simply put name just an example and now you can just move this into position wherever you please and let go now put this all the way up it would work better that way now what you want to do is you want to if you actually want to make a curve the way you do that is you just go back onto your type tool. Don't even have to highlight it. You go over here to this thing right here. And it says warp. You go to arch. And it will create an arch motion. I usually do it so that it goes like this. We're going to make it a negative 18. And we're going to increase the horizontal distort. And then we're going to press OK. Now a little tip is if you go over to the little mover tool you can press up with the arrow keys and you can position it so it can look good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click blend in options I'm gonna to go to stroke I'm going to inside and I'm gonna change the color to white so that it matches and now what you want to do after that is if you want you can do an outer glow like I did before just click on this move over color pick and OK now you can do the size a little bit more if you can barely see it that's too much let's make it about a 9 looks good and do a drop shadow drop shadows always look nice they're always looking clean so do a drop shadow all right now that looks good now you can press OK and the last thing we are going to do is we are going to put this image inside of the text and to do that you're simply just going to duplicate this layer one more time I'm just going to put one time and we're going to lift it all the way up and put it right here 
Now what you simply want to do is go over it and create clipping mask. Now since this opacity is down, we're going to raise it all the way up just so that it stands out more. You can even lower it a little bit. I'm going to do 75. 75 looks nice. Now if you want, you can go to name and I believe what you can do is does inner shadow work? Yep, inner shadow works. So you can just increase the size and it makes it look clean. It makes it look nice in my opinion. You can do an inner glow, which is pretty much like an outer glow, which I'm going to do. Now you can increase the size. If you want, you could do bevel, which pretty much gives it a sort of pop out effect, but I'm not going to do that because this looks good in my opinion. So now what you want to do with this is you want to simply save and to save, you can just go over here, save as, don't save it right away because it saves as a PSD. Let me just go ahead and go put it in a folder. Now what I'm going to call this is tutorial and save as type, you click down and you go to the first JPEG one. And then you press save. Now this little thing will show up. I recommend maximum. Everything else is good. Now just click OK. And then it saves. And now if we simply go here, we can go up, logos, tutorial. And that's your final product. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new thank you so much for the amazing response on that rc i put out yesterday it was true not yesterday two days ago i believe it was i'm not sure i'm blanking out a little bit but i really do hope you guys enjoy please leave a like comment and subscribe like i said if you're new and i'll catch you guys later see ya